Now, there's a growing discontent among members of the Association of Magistrates and Judges Ghana over the non-payment of allowances due them. TV3 has gathered the situation could compel them to withdraw their services. Thomas Adote Papo has more. Owes judges over two years of book allowance while payment of robin allowance has ceased. They have not been granted fuel allowance this year, even though they are entitled to it. Incessant calls to the Ministry of Finance to pay the outstanding allowances have yielded no response. Members of the association TV3 Gathers are frustrated given that in previous years they experienced similar delays, but due to the attendance of their profession, they have suffered in silence. Some lawyers have waded into the concerns raised by judges and magistrates. If a judge who is not reading or oppressed with the current position of the law, you will go to court and when the judge if is even, will not even be confident, the judge will not exude that confidence when the cases are being tried. But if you appear before a judge who is sound and knows his law, everybody is happy. So it tells you that, yes, the judge who has his condition of services, which is being fulfilled, he has some job satisfaction, would deliver and deliver quality judgment that when you even read and you even lose you'll be happy and know that i should have done a b c d but if the judge is not being given his allowances he can't afford to buy the law books the test books the law reports i'm telling you that that will not be good some of the judges are incensed especially when their colleague Article 71 office holders promptly receive what is due them. This is not the first time judges have experienced delays in the payment of the allowances. A member of the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs in Parliament, Roxin Defiamapo, attempted to diagnose the situation. The problem has been that the judiciary itself comes to Parliament with a combined budget, a budget that consists of activities for both members of the judiciary, qua judiciary, and members of the judicial service. Now, when you do that, the executive is of the opinion that they, are, they will slash the estimates. You are unable to raise the legal argument of a breach of the constitution. I have urged the government in other fora to ensure that even if you won't pay other critical service workers, they don't play with allowances meant for judges, and particularly so superior court judges. He intends filing a question in Parliament to the Attorney General to respond to the myriad of challenges confronting judges. And speaking to some lawyers, it is clear judges play a critical role in the determination of cases in this country. The sheer volume of work, the number of cases they have to read to come up with a judgment. As we speak, judges are given very little by way of remuneration. Former Speaker of Parliament, the late Peter Lajete, once said that the working conditions of judges is utterly poor. Thomas Altaipapo, TV3.